Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing a series of videos on the cryptocurrency called Ergo. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is setting up a wallet. Now, the wallet that we're going to be installing today is going to be using a web-based browser wallet called Yoroi. And we're going to be installing it with Google Chrome. Now, the process is going to be similar for other browsers and devices. And the other ones that are supported is Microsoft Edge. You have Firefox, Android, and iOS. The process to install the wallet is fairly simple. And I'll walk you through those steps right now. We're going to begin at the Yoroi wallet homepage and what I'll do is I'll put a link for this in the description below. We just have to click on download and like I said we're going to be doing it for Chrome so we click on the Chrome link in here and it's going to take us to the web store where we can add the extension to Chrome. So we're going to click on it, click on add extension and then we'll get a pop-up in just a moment here when it gets added and there we go. So now it's been added to Chrome. So now the wallet has been added to Chrome and we're ready to set it up. So I'm just going to close out of this and I'm going to click on the icon and we're going to get the wizard to set up the wallet. The first thing it wants to do is select language and then we get this terms of use. They're basically saying they're very safe and secure. Nothing's being shared or sold. Uh, you can go through the terms and agreements if you like. Scroll all the way through, then check I agree to the terms and then click on continue. Now, if you want to allow Cardano payment URLs, might be a good idea. I'm going to allow it. If you skip it right now, you can always add it later. So we just want to allow these payment links that will be go through. So we'll click on allow. And then once this part is complete, we can click on finish. And now what we're going to do is actually set up our wallet. So we're not restoring one or we're not doing a hardware wallet because I don't believe that's supported yet. We clicked on the uh, middle one called create wallet. And as you can see, Cardano is listed here, but we're going to be doing Ergo, which is the second option. So we'll select that. Next, we want to do is click on create wallet and you want to give it a name. So I'm going to just call it CJ Ergo for Crypto Jar Ergo. You can call it anything that you want. Give it any name, just something that you'll recognize when you open it up. And then you type in your password. So you want to enter in a password in here twice. And then you can click on create personal wallet. And now we're going to be doing the recovery passphrase. So you want to make sure that this is an example. I'm going to be showing you everything that I have right now, but you want to make sure this is nice and secure. You don't want any people around. You want to make sure that you write this down and put it in a private area. So I'll click on continue. These are the, this is the secret passphrase. Again, you don't want to be sharing this. I'm just showing you this in the example. So you can actually watch me go through this full steps. So once you've written it down, you need to put it back in order. So you want to select each word individually in order, and I'll be doing that right now. So bright, and then nominee, and company, add, original, size, August, armed, small, ski, bike, romance, grain, humble, and there we go. So we have two options here that we have to select in order to continue. And basically what you're doing is you're agreeing that this recovery phase is what you're going to need to get access to your wallet. If you lose the recovery phase, you're going to lose everything related to it. That means all crypto that's in it. So it's very important. Don't lose your recovery phase, put it in a very safe spot. So in here we have the transaction section and all your transactions will be listed in here below. And next we have the send option. This is like any other crypto wallet. So you put in your receiver address at the first field, then you put in the amount. And then below that you have custom amount options that you can check in the drop down list below. And then you can have add a memo. And then in receive, it's gonna be the same thing. You have a wallet address that you can provide to other people. It has a QR code and you can generate a new address at any time. These can be easily copied and pasted. You have an address book where you can save them all in here as well. I'm just going to quickly go over the settings of this wallet so you can just see what's in here. You can change the theme of how it looks, the blockchain, and then inside here you have a wallet information where you can resync wallets, uh, terms of use, if anything gets updated, be listed in there, supports, and then the complexity. Now I have it as simple, but you can go to advanced. Simple is definitely recommended if you don't want to have too many options and it gets a little bit confusing. So I definitely recommend you start off with a simple wallet. But that's how you do it. So we're already done. We set up the Ergo wallet using Yoroi on a Chrome browser on a Windows 10 PC. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. And if you're looking for crypto guides and tutorials on miners, wallets, and anything related to crypto, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.